Here they are, guys. People are going wild for cassettes, and there are sales numbers to prove it. A whole new generation now discovering another way to enjoy music that comes with some distinctive perks. I think we'll go with a little Bohemian Rhapsody, gentlemen. Remember the compact cassette? Younger than the record, but older than the CD, they reached their full potential in the 1980s and paired perfectly with the Walkman and Boombox. Well, what's old is new again. Cassette tapes? We thought these were done and now making a comeback. Steve Stepp has been in the tape business since 1969 and was steadfast in the plastic players, even as others lost interest. We had planned on a resurgence, but it has come much quicker and much stronger than we expected. A strategy that's paid off for the National Audio Company, who now makes more audio cassettes in a week than any of their competitors do in a year. The last five years, I think we'd say probably an average of 20% to 25% a year. The last two years, it has picked up beyond that. With pop artists like Justin Bieber, Halsey, and The Weeknd rewinding time and releasing their tunes on tape. We're looking at millennials who are latching on to a way to enjoy music in a physical format. We're talking about people who never thought music came in a physical shape. Last year, sales of cassettes rose 74%. Inexpensive and easy to produce, many of them are sold direct to consumer and include a code for digital download. At Amoeba Music in Los Angeles, the country's largest independent record store sells hundreds of new and used cassettes a year. I think cassettes are awesome. People like digital stuff, but they want to hold something. The tapes are part of a collection of more than a million items on the retailer's shelves. But like vinyl, music fans agree there's something special about the way they sound. They are natural analog sound, and your ears and the world around you are analog. It does all the things that music is supposed to do for kids. Your parents are confused, a little freaked out, and you get to come home and say, hey, I've got something I want to play loud that you won't like. Mission accomplished. Also, people like about cassettes is the artwork, if you guys remember. The yeah. Yeah. chance for the artist to showcase uh, stuff that they were into. You can't really touch and feel and look at music today when it comes out uh, digitally. So it's another way to go back. And you remember rewinding cassette tapes? Yeah. Take, a, yeah. take a pencil yeah. and put it right in there. When the battery started to go down, you go, oh, no. There you go. I remember when a cute boy would make you a mixtape, and you could listen to it over and over. He would pick the songs, and it was cool. Yeah. Like, there's a reason for I it to come back. I remember wishing a cute boy would make me a mixtape. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I remember the lyrics are so small. Yes. Now you never got that mixtape, huh? Yeah. Never got you made, made to make your, I might have uh, made the mixtape. Maybe if you exactly. showed up at school, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I'd been at school, maybe, maybe that mixtape would be there for me. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.